What's up, man? 25 gamers, and today's sim tip of the week. We're we'll gonna be taking a look at the smash passing concept out of the out of uh, Peyton Manning's playbook, the Denver Broncos. Uh, this this play this exact play I'm running is actually out of the um, the uh, run and shoot playbook, but it can be found in multiple playbooks. Uh, basically, it's just uh, any trips formation typically will have this concept in it. And uh, what the smash concept basically is designed to do, it's designed to beat cover two. And uh, it's it's designed actually to beat zone coverage in general, but especially cover two. And uh, what I like to do with this, we're just going to run it first. We're in a cover four here. We're going to show you, okay, so we take our time, we make our read, and we find out that the hitch route is actually open. But how can we speed up this process? You know, like I said, it is designed to beat cover two. So here I'm going to call cover two sync, and you're going to see this corner route when pass let up is still not going to be able to beat it in Madden 25 because of the way the zones play it. It's just it's just a it's just a way it works. But we can make it a little bit better with one simple hot route. We're going to put Eddie Royal on a smoke screen, and it's going to make his before his hitch was about three yards. Now it's going to be right at the line of scrimmage. He's going to stop and stand there. And you see what's going to happen? Is they're going to have to account for it. If they don't, it's going to be a quick four or five yards with Eddie Royal uh, on the on that outside edge there. So they're going to have to start accounting for it. So they go to their cover two sync. They think that, well, hey, the cover two sync stops the smash play. In reality, when we put him on the smoke screen, it's going to make that opening right there for R1 so that we can pass lead that uh, right and up, so about 2 o'clock, and hit him in stride. Now, this is essential to beating man and zone coverages in Madden 25, especially from the smash concept, because the smash concept is, you know, not always ran perfectly. See, against cover three here, it's going to get bumped, so we could, in theory, hit the smoke screen route and, and take it up the middle of the field. But, again, what if we want bigger gains? We want to try to hit with the corner routes. That's, that's the goal. Well, we could wait a little bit. You know, we're going to have to wait. We're going to have to hold a protection, but eventually that corner route's going to break open to the outside, and then we're going to hit it with a pass lead to the right situation where they may be a two-man under. A lot of guys are like a two-man under this year. Well, corner routes beat two-man under. So again, really effective route be, uh, route combination in the smash concept. Now what I like to do on the back side of my smash concept is run a curl to flat concept. So I set up my curl to flat by putting Matthews on a flat route and, or a swing to the left and I put uh, Malcolm Floyd either on a smart routed out route, a uh, curl, or a smart routed in route, just depending on whatever you want to run it. So here we'll show you on a curl. They're in cover four. So now, in theory, curl flat concept. I'm going to take the flat. I'm going to make a move on a guy. Maybe make a defender miss. But this is the concepts that we can use. And then what stops curl flats? Well, curl flats is typically going to be slowed down by cover two or cover two sink. So with the smash concept now, with what we're doing on the right side, we now have the option of beating the cover two sink and all the other coverages in one play, which is a really good option now. So as far as reads go, your first read is going to be Eddie Royal. You're going to hit him if they're not honoring it. A lot of times they'll be honoring it, though. You, won't, you really won't have him open a ton, but always look there first. Then your second read is going to be your left side to see if, they're curl, if there's a possibility you can flip the curl to flat in. Uh, a lot of times cover three, this is where cover three is going to come in handy against the smash because it gets that bump. Okay, well, that's not there, so I'll just take my out route. Uh, my curl to flat concept beats cover three. And then they say, okay, well, I'm going to run two men under. I mean, I'm going to run two men under. Well, as soon as you see two men under, uh, as we well know, out routes beat two men under. So wait a little bit, throw your out route, and that threw it a little early there. But you could wait and throw that, or you could just take your corner route, depending on what you want to do. I mean, you're looking to the right side anyway. You're going to see it's man coverage. He's not going to get pressed. So you see man coverage. Okay, I'm going to take that corner route to the outside and throw it. So third read is technically your, your, your corner route. Uh, and then your last read is a situation where they may be in cover four, and you want to try to hit them with the seams. This X route is going to go right up the middle of the field, split those two safeties. And let me show you a little trick here in two-man under. So two-man under, as we know, is probably one of the hardest coverages to beat deep. But, uh, and I hope it works out of this play, the route to Brown does a really good job of beating two-man under. So let me see if, I hope it works. Um, you're going to see, you're just going to lob it now. And you see, he's going to get, he's kind of going to get over. I mean, he's not going to completely burn him, but it's just something. And you could click on, you can user catch this. I mean, you can do a lot of stuff with this. But I thought it was just really awesome how he just beats him down the field. I mean, you got you to gotta put like a fast guy there, but it's just, some, it's just something I really like to do. Uh, one, maybe once every while, test them deep and, and try to hit that X route. But just depending on the, on the read, you know, it's not a man-to-man -man read, but against cover zero now, cover zero is a totally different situation. And again, we could hit the out route, we could hit the corner route, but if we see, okay, cover zero, no safety help, lob it up, 
and you know, you have to get, you're going to have to wait a little bit, obviously, but you you, you get the idea. You want to throw it over the top because there's nobody deep helping, and you're just going to trust your receiver to outrun him. So a situation where this may be possible is, uh, whoops, let me see if I can get the play set up properly. So we wait. Oh, we see cover zero blitz. If he's even, he's leaving. And uh, there we go. We hit him over the top with a big gain to our receiver in the slot. So that's kind of what the slot role is for in a situation where they bay me in um, cover two, the standard cover two with the press on the outside. And like we said, you know, this play beats cover two. Well, when we see, look to the right now, that corner route is now covered. It's not very, it's not a great option. It's the standard cover two, not cover two sink, the standard cover two. So in that situation, and this is, you know, going back to reading you, going through progressions, if they're not open, don't throw the ball at them. But you're going to see that this is going to split the safeties over the middle of the seams there. Nice. And uh, we can, you know, make big plays. But you see the idea. Um, and, again, it's just all through your progression. You go right, no, left, no, seam, yes. And you just hit them over the top. And then you just try to you try to break your tackle, maybe get in the end zone, celebrate, score touchdowns, win championships. But, again, this is a very simple play. It's a very simple concept. Okay, right. Okay, now it's good. And it's just simple. It's very simple. It's easy to read. It's easy to execute. And Peyton Manning executed it very well with the Indianapolis Colts for several years. Be sure to check out the Smash Concept, guys, for this week's Sim Tip of the Week. I really enjoy breaking this down. If you guys have any suggestions or anything you would like to see, let me know in the comments below. And also, guys, if you have any questions at all about Madden 25, let me know. If you're new to the channel, ask Ask me, ask my, hit me up on Twitter, ask some of the guys you see in the comment section. Just talk, guys. Get involved with the YouTube channel. It's meant to be a community.